What's up, everybody? I'm Poom Pete. I'm Musa. And we are playing Go Into the Cave. Ah, oh, <laughs> new game here. New game, not Torchlight. Looks a lot like Torchlight, feels a lot like Torchlight. Walks like a duck, talks like a duck. Actually, the game Go Into the Cave. And already stuff to fight. Uh, it will be on uh, St Steam Greenlight uh, within the month. I'm the lead programmer. I cannot... Uh cannot uh, guarantee that anything will work. I thought that it. guy's name was Ass King, which conveniently no. is what we often refer to Skeleton King as. And uh, uh, Wraith King. Dota King. Oh yeah, Wraith King. Sorry, Blizzard. It's ruining things for everyone. That and Wind Ranger, right? Because yeah. everyone calls her that now, and no one still and, calls uh, her Wind Runner. Od. I don't even I'll know, they just keep app. changing Obsidian Devourer now, is he? I don't even know which one he is at this point. Yeah, he's just OD. Right? Yeah, he's basically just OD. But anyway, uh, I, I know I mentioned in the last episode that I need a horse thing, but uh, yeah. so my one friend specifically is the one that says it the most, and uh, he was t we were taking a which Avenger are you quiz, because that's what we do. When we we'll, the horse. We're waiting for no. We're, we're we're waiting for classes. We just take dumb personality tests. We've done that. We've done like, what Dragon Ball Z character are you? For the record, I am Goku basically in all of them, which kind of made me sad. I wanted to be Trunks because Trunks was always my favorite because he had a sword, and I was like, oh man, no one else in this show has swords. Um, which makes no sense. Hand to hand fighting. Like the, the sword just gives Probably him a such a big. Yeah, but when you're shooting like lasers and stuff, like. What, does the sword really matter that much? Yeah, if... Oh, jeez. Enchanter, no. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we were taking the what Avenger you quiz, and he got Thor. So like he, he always says like the horse thing, he kind of started it. But uh, today when we were working on that project... Uh, spoiler, we were recording two episodes on the same day. Uh, just so you guys know, these aren't, like, filmed and then uploaded live, like, right after the action. Um, we were working on the project, and we had this idea. We don't actually do a whole lot of work when we work on stuff. Uh, we get distracted easily, much like with the story. Who would have guessed? Much like with the story. But, uh, we were talking about Vine, and I was like, we just need to start, to a s start doing a series of Vines in which my friend dressed up in a Thor costume just walks into like random places and just like, I need a horse! No matter like where, just like random stores around our college and like Walmarts in the general vicinity and stuff like that. And just like, whenever they, no matter what they, like get, get the employees in on it so like they'll like talk back and be like, uh, we don't sell horses here, we only sell blank. And no matter like what it is they sell, we just want them to be like, I need one big enough to ride. So like if even like there's like a Dunkin' Donuts on campus. If he walks in there, he's like, "I need a horse," and they're like, "We don't sell horses, just donuts and coffee." And he's like, "I need one big enough to ride." Why are there so many green things? Yeah, I don't even know what these are. They're not even monsters. They're anymore. not even they're the things that you blobs. spawned. Yeah, <laughs> like the developers of Torchlight Two got real lazy, like halfway no, through Act no. Two. Wrong game. The oh right. Of uh, go, go into the cave. The, cave. Uh, the developers of Go into the Cave, uh, also known as Moosin and Puma Pete, got really lazy like partway through, and uh, just ran out of ideas for enemies. And they were like green blobs, or you know, malevolent looking, and just look like they're up to no good. They they could be our enemies. Ooh, mana! What is going on? That like shook the whole cave. That was weird. It gave you mana back though. Didn't we have this discussion like two episodes ago with the man events do? You said they gave us yeah, mana back. But those ones just randomly erupt. Apparently. Oh, that's weird. Hey look, it's the rat. You mean the monkey bandits? Yes, something like that. Whose weaknesses are uh was it bananas, the musical stylings of Christina Aguilera and Thermite? Thermite! Thermite. <laughs> They're particularly susceptible to thermite. Like everyone it has like the same level of thermite susceptibility, which is very large. And then they're like even more susceptible than other people. Yeah, I don't know what that would be. Do they just kind of melt? Or... Isn't that what thermite already does to people? Uh, maybe. 
Do they melt faster? Um, I think they just, uh, they just, like, disappear. Like, if Thermite touches them, instead of melting, they just dissolve. Why is there this platform? Why is there what? It looks like this should teleport us somewhere. Um, I don't know. It's like, have, uh, you know in Risk of Rain, you know, like, the winter level? Yeah. Alright, so you know on the side of the winter level, there's that giant-looking teleporter that you can't get to? Have you yes. seen this? I feel like no, that should maybe. take you somewhere, like, some, like, super crazy secret boss fight, but you just can't get to it. It makes me really sad. What like, if it does? That, and no, you're just not doing it right. I, I'm, uh, I mean, I've, I've watched some people play it. Uh, ah. like Lethal Frag, who's, like, super awesome Twitch streamer. Uh, I've watched him play. And he also... Shout out to him, though. Shout out to Lethal Frag. He has, like, 4,000... Uh, s like simultaneous viewers every single time he streams every day, but you know, shout out to him from us with our, you know, ten to fifteen views per YouTube video, if not less. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I've never seen him do anything with the portal either, so I'm just assuming that it doesn't do anything. But that actually, like, I know we were just joking about how, uh, like, the green blobs just looks like they just like ran out of ideas. They yeah. just like green blobs work. It almost kind of feels like they had something, like, awesome planned and, like, didn't have time or, like, just, I don't know. It I just... feel like they updated this game a lot, though. Oh, I'm talking about with Risk of Rain. Ah, that was a joke yeah. about these guys not having time. <laughs> uh, but I feel that like with Risk of right over my head. Yeah, I know. It was pretty complex. I know it's hard for you to think about more than one thing at a time. So like we were we were talking about this game and you just completely forgot about the existence of anything else. Yep. You're like a little kid, so like whenever stuff like isn't in their field of view, it just doesn't exist. <laughs> like a like baby. Yeah. Uh, like the uh, peekaboo game. Yeah. Do you actually know that, like that? That's why that works on them. Yeah. They have like yeah, no I concept did. of things that aren't directly in front of them. It's basically what you are. You're like a 20 year old version of that. 20? Yeah, you're giving me too much credit. <laughs> I always forget that your birthday is like literally the exact same time as mine. So I was thinking yeah. that I'm, you know, partially to 21, so I thought maybe you were 20 by now, and then I remembered that your birthday is like three days after mine. Yeah. yeah. Um. Welcome to Torchlight. Two, where we don't actually talk about this game. Do we ever? And have we at any point? I think the I Manticore think we, fight. Yeah. The Manticore fight, we actually discussed strategy. This is, I think this is the first time this episode we've said the words Torchlight 2. Yeah. It's Cave Story <laughs> right now. This is... That, that's not like <laughs> even... A, that's actually a game. Like, go to the cave is not... Or go into the cave or whatever it is we called it initially is not a, uh, a game. I feel like saying we're playing Cave Story is actually just a blatant lie. Maybe, maybe a little cave bit. Cave Story is also not co-op, and therefore we can't, we can't do it here. Not until we have that, uh, nest, that, or nest, that we have that couch and that microphone we can play with. Even then, it wouldn't really and be co-op. I mean, isn't that kind of our thing? I guess. We play co-op games, not like single player games together. Play some Metal Slug. I have never played a Metal, Metal Slug game. I haven't either. <laughs> I mean. Just throwing it out there casually, like, oh, we could play this game I've never played. It's probably good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they are. It's like uh, Contra. Kind of oh, okay. Thing. That has really cool sprite art. I do know what Contra is. I'm not... I think if I didn't know what Contra was, I would like lose all credibility I would as a gamer right and, now. and a, a nerd and all of that. Man, these green blobs. Do yeah, a they're damage. really annoying. There's so many of them. They're like kind of tanky too, like for something that looks like they shouldn't be. Because they're so for these uh, these things that pull you are just the worst. Is that what was happening? I thought I was just really bad at microing. <laughs> no, there are things that, like, hook you in. And I think they also suck your mana. 
They want to suck your blood. Oh, here's a hero mana wisp that just kind of is invisible. He's invisible? Is... Yeah, dude. Or invincible. Come here. Invisible. Then why can't I see him? Ha. <laughs> that joke doesn't work when you actually say invisible. What am I looking at? Uh, right here. Oh, House yeah. House over him. It's just like a ball of gas. Yeah, it's really weird. Is he dead? No, no, he's no. still there. He's he a bunch of very health. difficult to see. Like if your mouse isn't over yeah. him, because he is just a green floating orb, That's floating over tons of him. green stuff. You you just happen to mouse over him. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on. That I thought was somebody was just super firing confusing. Like tons of projectiles at me. But apparently it was him. I have the feeling someone wants to sell me something. So I was with a... Wait, what were you going to say? It's a fantastic show. It is Would a fantastic recommend. show. 10 out of 10. <laughs> For all those people that don't know what Spongebob is. Uh, hey, actually, maybe somebody doesn't. Th this is relevant to what I was going to say. Uh, I was with like... Uh, I had a family thing that I had to go to today, and there yeah. was a very young child, and they were. Someone was like, "Oh, there's no SpongeBob on the TV, is there?" Like it was a baby, so the baby can't talk back anyway. So I couldn't ask the baby this question, or I would have. Uh, but is like SpongeBob still a thing now? Like, is that what people still watch? Like little kids. I know it. It still airs. Do episodes. they still make new episodes? Uh, I'm like 90% sure they do. I know Mermaid Man died. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. In peace. Never forget. Um, this thing Mermaid is Man not very intimidating as, at all. Especially when he's in a bone cave. Yeah, really. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious, like, if, if, like, that's still, like, a relevant show, or if it's kind of, like, like when we were growing up, kind of what like, like Ren and Stimpy was like not really new stuff. Just kind of, it was still on TV. Was it still airing back when we were growing up? Yeah, I, I, you've seen the show, haven't you? Have you seen Ren and Stimpy? I mean, yeah. Well, then it was obviously still airing. All right, here's That's, the gem. Seems like a very back. bizarre uh, question, based on the fact that. Whoa! Holy All crap! Right. Uh, it's just returned to the surface. Uh, I have to collect this um, stuff over here. Um, I kind of want to go back to that platform. What see platform? See if anything happened. Alright, we'll head over there. Investigative. Time to, to uh, go into my uh, secret ultra identity uh, that I use to investigate crime known as XXX. Ruff Detective McGruff. Bong hits 420 XXX. Not Ruff McGruff. The crime, crime dog. I always hated that puppet. A puppet? That was a puppet. And it came to my school all the time. All oh, right. I Why actually, this yeah, I guess it doesn't do anything. I actually didn't know it was a puppet. I thought it was a, uh, like a cartoon kind of like comic thing to teach kids about like crime. I think it was, but then uh, my dare officer. Oh, shout out to that back in the day. Dare. Is dare yeah. still a thing? Um, I see dare all over the police cars. That was at, that were at my high school. Uh, but when I was in grade school, Dare used to come to my grade school, and occasionally they would give out a Dare lion, and I never got one, and it made me so angry. Like I wanted a Dare <laughs> lion more than anything in the world when I was younger, <laughs> and Most never. Prized possession I was, was a Dare lion. So pissed off that I never got a Dare lion. What were you saying about Ruff McGruff though? Yeah. Or McGruff, uh, but I don't even know he, his name. There was a uh, a house that we had, not like a house, you know, like a uh, dog house that he would be kept in. And like you were supposed to think the puppet was alive. Yeah. That's and kind of creepy, well, almost to the, a point. The dare, the person who was like teaching us the dare program, would always come and bring him. Okay. And always would put on a a voice and animate the puppet. Ah. Uh, what, what was the voice? Can you do the voice for us? <laughs> no, Please. I cannot replicate it. Please. The viewers want Hi, it. Hi, I'm Scruff McGruff. Uh, that's not like even that. what it sounds like. That's, I feel like that's not even what he would sound like. I feel like he would have a deep voice. Nope. 
That's exactly what Those, it sounded like that back in the day. That guy has no idea what he's talking about. That guy is actually my neighbor. Uh, well, you should inform him that he <laughs> actually has no idea what he's talking about. He actually had a duck as a pet. He had a duck as a pet? Uh-huh. That's he awesome. He lived in a pond at his house, and he hated that thing so much. He hated the duck? Yeah. Or the pond? Why did he keep it as a pet, then? Because his wife liked it. Ah, uh, I see. That's quite the strong argument. And he only ended up ha he ended up having the duck for a long time, and then he was like, I'm glad it died to me one day in school when I asked him about it. Oh, uh, wow, that's... That is brutal. Were you a young <laughs> child when he told you this? No, no, no. It was my senior year. Oh, uh, that's good. Because, like, if, if you were a little kid and you were, like, really emotionally connected to the duck and then he was like, I'm glad it died, like, that would just be so sad. Oh, you yeah. see that teleport? Bada boosh. It's like you're actually using it for what it's meant to be. I think it's actually meant for me to run away. Probably not aggressively, Probably. like, teleport into a large group of enemies, but whatever. But anyway, sorry about, uh, McGruff the Crime Dog. Um, I feel like you, you do not watch, uh, Blood Bowl very much, but I am a fan of the game, so I occasionally watch a YouTube video, or two or three, uh, if I have, like, nothing to do. Uh, and Kanor is basically the only YouTuber that plays Blood Bowl, as far as I know. Uh, and he often does, like, Who? theme Kanor. Kanor. He, uh, when they were, he's in the Speed Bowl League now, whenever they did the first, like, uh, Blood Bowl League with, like, TGS, before TGS became Polaris, uh, he, like, helped them make the teams and stuff, ah, but, uh, okay. he often does, Shout like, out to Polaris. <laughs> yeah, and Kanor, who, while not, like, rolling in the views way more than we have right now and likely will ever get, uh, which is, like, any more than 100. But, um, Which we actually broke. Somehow. Yeah, on the first one. Uh, that we're just gonna consider that blind luck, and like that's like beginners. That's the ultimate example of beginners luck, really. Yeah, for real. But uh, so Kenora often does theme teams, and like he takes suggestions from chat. And one of the one of the people in chat was just like, you should just do a RoboCop team, where it's just Robo inserted in front of like famous cop team names. Like it was like a really dumb <laughs> idea. Yeah, but yeah. It, it made him laugh, so he's like, you know what? We're going with it. So, uh, I don't know if this chest is better for me or not. Uh, probably not. Um, so they went with the idea just because it was, like, so ridiculous that it was kind of yeah. funny. So, uh, it was, like, Robo Texas Ranger. Um, <laughs> Robo insert cop. Uh, the, the officer of Nottingham. Stuff like that. Um, and they got to, there was even Robo Robocop, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> but they got to McGruff the Crime Dog, and they made it Robo Gruff the Crime Dog Bot. <laughs> and I just thought that was an awesome name. It's actually fantastic. Yeah. Um, I guess we're up to the next part of the main quest. Yeah, because I don't Unless think... Unless secret fishing hole. No, we're not watching you fish. That's even worse than watching us clear the overworld, which I imagine is average at best. Huh. I found a, uh, a legendary collar in the, uh... In the secret fishing hole? Secret fishing hole, yeah. All right, well, viewers, let us know in future episodes, would you like to watch Mason fish? Uh, I, I say yes. All right, Mason votes yes. That's one vote, um, but his vote actually doesn't count because he's not Completely a viewer. Counts. Mason does not count as a viewer, even if he does watch the show. Oh. <laughs> All right, and it is time to continue on our quest. However, we will do that next time on Friendly Fire Co-op, where we play more. Go into the cave. All this time, it'll be going into the large glowing blue door. See you guys. Bye.